this video we are going to discuss about apoptosis so apoptosis means falling off it is an example of programmed cell death in this cell which is distinct to die activate a set of intrinsic enzymes okay in this process repackaging of the entire cell into a small membrane bound structure occurs that is known as apoptotic bodies clear it is a small membrane bound structure in which entire cell is repackaged now reason behind apoptosis may be physiological or pathological so physiological are embryogenesis or involution of hormone dependent tissue which hormone is withdrawn immunological tolerance while pathological reasons are dna damage or accumulation of misfolded proteins which is activated by chaperones infections okay especially viral infection now most characteristic feature in apoptosis is caspases enzyme c4 cysteine asp4 cleave after every aspartate residue so asp4 aspartate residues and ages come from proteases so these are the proteases enzymes which cleave after every aspartate residues clear now coming to the types of caspases so caspases are divided into two types initiator caspase executional caspases so initiator are two types intrinsic and extrinsic okay this caspase is activated in intrinsic pathway where this is activated during extrinsic pathway so in intrinsic pathway caspase 9 and extrinsic pathway 8 and 10 clear and this 10 caspase is found exclusively in humans now coming to the executioner which will execute the process is caspase 3 6 and 7 clear and caspases are autocatalytic now coming to the first mechanism that is in intrinsic or sometimes also known as mitochondrial pathway so this is the major mechanism of apoptosis outer mitochondrial membrane which contains bcl2 family of lymphocytes bcl2 means b cells lymphoma okay bcl2 family of lymphocytes and this contains certain domains called bcl2 homology domains that is bh domains and it has one to four bh domains okay this family has one to four bh domain bh1 to bh4 now three groups are under bcl2 family that is one is anti-apoptotic second is pro apoptotic and the third one is sensor so anti apoptotic is bcl2 bcl xl mcl1 pro apoptotic is bax bak bcl xs sensor bim bid bad puma noxa okay the other sensors now this mcl1 it is responsible for resistant to chemotherapy this is anti apoptotic anti apoptotic clear and it provides mnc1 is responsible for resistance to chemotherapy very important bcl2 is translocated in follicular lymphoma very important this is clear now bax which is a pro apoptotic its transcription increases by p53 P in a damaged cell clear p53 in damaged cell helps in increase of transcription of this pro apoptotic clear now if any growth signals comes then anti apoptotic genes expression will increase sorry this expression will increase now if there will be inhibition by growth inhibition of growth by deprivation deprivation of growth signals or anything which causes dna damage or other causes of a process okay either any causes of apoptosis will be sensed by sensor protein then what will sensor protein will do okay so it was sensed by sensor protein then two pathway it will stimulate pro apoptotic proteins and inhibit anti apoptotic proteins clear now stimulation of pro apoptotic proteins will lead to olimization to drill holes in mitochondrial membrane and due, due to creation of holes mitochondrial permeability will increase and increased mitochondrial permeability will lead to release of cytochrome c and this cytochrome c will bind to apoptosis active, activating factor which is known as apaf1 and it, it will form a wheel like hexamer that is known as apoptosomes and this apoptosome will convert pro caspase 9 into caspase 9 and this caspase 9 is your executioner caspases clear which will cause apoptosis clear no problem here now moving to the next now calcium influx will occur which will increase membrane which will cause increase in membrane permeability of the mitochondria and also it is known as membrane permeability transition pore creation of membrane permeability transition pore clear now this increased mitochondrial permeability release smack and Diblo proteins into cytoplasm. SMAC and Diblo proteins into cytoplasm. This will neutralize cytoplasmic protein, which usually inhibit caspases. Clear? So, this will inhibit the other inhibitors of apoptosis, these cytoplasmic proteins. 
so smac and dimblo is neutralizing those proteins which are inhibitors of apoptosis this this means smac and dimblo are pro apoptotic action they have pro apoptotic action clear now coming to the extrinsic pathway so extrinsic now coming to the now coming to the extrinsic death receptor pathway okay extrinsic or death receptor pathway which, which is a minor pathway it is activated where is when there is engagement of death receptor on cells mean to die the cells which are going to die with ligands on cytotoxic T cells then this pathway will be activated now this is diagram has shown okay this is your suppose cytotoxic T cells it is fast ligand and it's the cell which is undergoing process and it's the death receptor so this will this ligand will come and bind to this death receptor clear when bind with when, when death receptor binds to this ligand then cytoplasmic domains will come closer to each other okay and to this gets attached another protein known as FADD that is fast associated death domain clear okay and this will activate your pro caspase 8 and 10 which is initiator caspase in case of extrinsic pathway it will lead to it is converted into caspase 8 and 10 it is inactivated pro caspase it is activated pro caspase when initiator pro caspase when initiator caspase is formed then it will activate executioner caspases clear now some viruses make a protein which is known as flip clear which will inhibit these pro caspases clear and this is the mechanism flip this is the mechanism through which virus can escape fast mediated apoptosis clear now coming to the execution caspases so execution phase in which education educational caspases will act, uh, act so the other caspase number three six and seven okay it will execute the functions now it will activate different proteolytic and other lytic enzyme of cell especially dnhs clear so this is they are the cell organelles this is nucleus okay and these are here the, the formation of apoptotic bodies clear now coming to the apoptotic body so flipping out of phospholipid membrane to expose phosphoridyl serine coating by factors like thrombospondin and complement c1q clear so this two is occurring and phagocyte phagocyte Okay, phagocytes, phagocytes will recognize this, this two. Phagocytes will recognize this two, and this will lead to phagocytosis of apoptotic bodies. Clear? So these two characteristics are found in apoptotic bodies, which is recognized by phagocytes, and then phagocytes will phagocytize this. Clear? Now coming to the next. If apoptosis is decreased in cells which should die, then it okay if a process is decreased in cells which is going to die it is a case of autoimmune disease or in cancer okay so necrotosis is necro means necrosis apoptosis means apoptosis so necrotosis has mechanism like apoptosis and morphology like necrosis clear so if it is following mechanism of apoptosis it means necroptosis is also a programmed cell death but it is caspase independent so this is a very important point Necroptosis is caspase independent. It will start like extrinsic pathway, ex extrinsic pathway, okay, that is the death receptor pathway, leading to engagement of TNFR family, and it will activate RIP1 and RIP3, that is receptor associated kinase 1 and 3, and will form necrosome, and it will cause metabolic alteration leading to necrosis like cell death. Clear? Now, examples are mammalian growth plate, which is a physiological necroptosis example. Steatohepatitis, hepatitis, acute pancreatitis, neurodegenerative disease, and CMB infections. So these are the pathological conditions in which necroptosis is taking place. The next one is pyroptosis. Pyroptosis means apoptosis. Okay, means activation of some, some caspases. Caspases are one and two, eleven. And pyro means fire. It is fever-like. So when a microbial product enters a cell, it activates formation of a multi-protein complex that is known as inflammasome, and this activate caspase one which activate formation of interleukin 1 which lead to inflammation and cell death clear so here is a diagram for necroptosis clear tnfr receptor here is rip1 complex forming rip1 and rip3 complex and if there is failure to activate put activate caspase 8 then necrosome formation which will lead to metabolic alteration which i have told metabolic alteration involves decrease in atp formation increase in reactive oxygen species formation if decrease atp then bioenergic breakdown Increased formation of reactive oxygen species will lead to protein oxidation and DNA damage. Lipid peroxidation will also occur, which will lead to membrane damage and organ swelling. Lysosome membrane permeability will increase, which will lead to degradation of cellular micromolecules, loss of cell and organ integrity. So, this is your necroptosis. Clear?